Imagine a condition so rare, it only affects one in every 50,000 people on Earth. Welcome to the complex world of Friedreich's ataxia, or as those familiar with it call it, FA. In the expansive spectrum of human conditions and diseases, Friedreich's ataxia, also referred to as FA, sets itself apart due to its distinctiveness and rarity. Pronounced as Friedrich's Utaxiu, its name can be quite a mouthful. Some people even prefer the French pronunciation Fredericks. But, for the sake of simplicity and as those who are familiar with it usually do, we'll refer to it as F.A. For more information on the pronunciation and the scientist who discovered F.A., check the description below. F.A. is an intricate, poorly understood disease that has been the subject of extensive medical research. Yet despite the best efforts of the scientific community, a cure remains elusive. It's a genetic disorder passed down through families, with a level unpredictability that would make even the most seasoned gambler pause. It's a condition that poses a unique set of challenges. Its rarity means that many people are unfamiliar with it, and its effects are often misunderstood. It's an invisible battle that with F.A. and their families face day in day out. F.A. isn't contagious, it's not something you can contract or develop from poor lifestyle choices. It's a roll of the genetic dice, a game of chance that commences before you're even born. The inheritance pattern of F.A. can be demonstrated using a Punnett square, a basic tool for understanding how traits are passed from parents to children. The symptoms of F.A. are as varied as the people it affects. They can range from mild to severe, and no two individuals with F.A. experience it in the same way. Treatment plans are equally varied and are often custom-made for the individual's specific symptoms and needs. But let's not rush. We're just beginning to unravel the mystery of F.A. And there's much more to explore. Now that we've laid the foundation, let's delve deeper into the intricate web of F.A. F.A. doesn't just happen. It's a tale of inheritance, a story written in the language of our genes. Our genes, those tiny packets of information that define us, are passed down from generation to generation, carrying with them potential for many things, including F.A. Now let's replace that complex Punnett Square explanation from your high school biology class with a much simpler analogy. Think of inheritance like a pair of shoes. Each parent contributes shoe to the pair, and these shoes can either be a right shoe or a left shoe. In the world of F.A., the gene in question is like a left shoe. This means that a person needs to inherit two left shoes, one from each parent, to develop the condition. If they only inherit one left shoe, they become a carrier, able to pass on the left shoe, but they won't develop F.A. If both parents contribute a left shoe, then the child has F.A. The odds can seem daunting. But remember, this is a simplified version of an incredibly complex process. Our genes are not destiny set in stone. They're more like a set of possibilities. It's also important to note that F.A. is quite rare. In fact, it's estimated that only one in every 50,000 people worldwide have it. In the end, it's all about chance. The role of genetic dice that determines who gets what from the genetic pool. It's a game of chance, a genetic lottery, where not everyone holds a winning ticket. Some may find themselves holding the F.A. card, a piece of their story they never asked for, but must carry nonetheless. So it's all a game of chance, a genetic lottery where not everyone holds a winning ticket. F.A. is a master of disguise, hiding behind symptoms that may seem common at first glance. Like a chameleon blending into its surroundings, the signs of F.A. can be subtle, and often, they're mistaken for something else entirely. Imagine a storm on the horizon. At first it starts as a slight drizzle, barely noticeable. But slowly it intensifies, the clouds darken, the winds pick up, and it becomes a tempest. This is what living with F.A. is like. One of the earliest symptoms of F.A. is difficulty with balance and coordination, often referred to as ataxia. It's as if the person is walking on a tightrope that only they can see. But this isn't just a case of the usual clumsiness. It's a distinct, progressive decline in physical coordination that can affect walking, speech, and even the ability to swallow. Another symptom is fatigue. Not just the kind of tiredness that comes from a long day, but an inexplicable exhaustion that doesn't seem to go away with rest. This is due to the heart working overtime, as F.A. often causes hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a condition where the heart muscle becomes abnormally thick. Now imagine your hands and feet feeling like they're perpetually asleep with that tingling numbness we've all experienced at one time or another. This is neuropathy, another common symptom of F.A. It can also cause muscle weakness and loss of reflexes, especially in the lower extremities. F.A. can also lead to changes in vision and hearing. 
as well as slurred speech, making communication a challenge. And as if all that wasn't enough, it can also cause diabetes and curvature of the spine, or scoliosis. It's important to remember that these symptoms don't occur in isolation, but rather, they form a complex web that impacts every aspect of a person's life. Just like the storm that starts subtly, almost imperceptibly, before gradually becoming a tempest, the symptoms of FA become progressively more pronounced over time. But, here's the thing, recognizing these symptoms early on can make a world of difference. It can lead to a diagnosis. And while there's no known cure for FA yet, there are ways to manage the symptoms and improve quality of life. FA might be a crafty opponent, but knowing its tactics is the first step towards fighting back. So, let's not let this master of disguise fool us. Let's arm ourselves with knowledge and face this storm head on. Because in this battle, awareness is our strongest weapon. To help with this, a video of Ataxia is available and can be found in the description below. Let's take a closer look at the symptoms of FA one by one. First, let's discuss Ataxia, the traitor of balance and coordination. This is often the first sign of F.A. and can make simple tasks like walking or holding an object a challenge. It's like a tightrope walker suddenly finding the rope under their feet swaying unpredictably. Imagine that, and you'll understand a little about what living with ataxia is like. Next, we have fatigue, a thief that robs you of your energy without any apparent reason. This is not your usual tiredness after a long day of work or a strenuous workout. It's a bone-deep exhaustion that doesn't seem to go away with rest. Then there's hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a serious heart condition that often accompanies F.A. It's like having a drummer in your chest who doesn't know when to stop, causing your heart to work overtime. This can lead to a host of other issues like fatigue and shortness of breath. Neuropathy, another symptom of F.A., can be likened to an unwanted guest that overstays its welcome. It's a nerve damage that can cause a range of symptoms from numbness to pain, making your own body feel alien to you. Muscle weakness is another hallmark of F.A., making everyday tasks more difficult. It's like carrying a heavy weight all the time, even when you're just trying to lift a cup of coffee or write a simple note. Finally, the loss of reflexes can affect a person's ability to respond quickly to physical stimuli. It's like living in a world where everything moves in slow motion, except for you. Understanding these symptoms in detail can help us better manage F.A. It's like knowing your enemy's strategy before going into battle. The more we know, the better we can fight, so Let's keep learning, let's keep fighting, and let's keep hoping for a future where F.A. is nothing more than a distant memory. Continuing our deep dive into the symptoms of F.A., let's shed light on some other aspects that might not be as commonly discussed, but are equally important. Speech problems often occur in people with F.A., making it difficult for them to articulate their thoughts clearly. It's like trying to sing a song with the music constantly changing tempo. You're not losing your words, but the rhythm of speech is disrupted. Then we have hearing loss. This isn't the common age-related hearing loss. With F.A., it's like someone is gradually turning down the volume of life soundtrack. Vision loss is another symptom that can be associated with F.A. It's akin to looking at the world through a frosted glass window, blurring the beauty of life's details. Scoliosis, a curvature of the spine, can also occur in people with F.A. It's like carrying a heavy backpack on one shoulder for too long, causing your body to lean to one side. Diabetes is another condition that some people with F.A. may develop. It's like having a sweet tooth, but your body can't handle the sugar. Lastly, heart disease is a common problem for many people with F.A. We've talked about hypertrophic cardiomyopathy earlier, but there are other heart-related issues that can arise as well. It's like having a car with a faulty engine, making the journey of life more challenging. These symptoms can be challenging, but understanding them is the first step towards managing them. Let's remember that knowledge is power, and the more we know about F.A., the better equipped we are to manage it. While F.A. might not have a known cure yet, it doesn't mean the battle is lost. There's more than one way to fight. Treating F.A. is not about finding a magic bullet, but rather, it's about managing the symptoms and improving the quality of life for those living with F.A. Each person's reaction to treatment can vary, as F.A. is as unique as the individuals it affects. A common approach to treatment is through physical therapy. The goal of physical therapy is to help maintain mobility and coordination, manage muscle stiffness, and address any difficulties with balance. It's a proactive way to combat some of the physical challenges brought on by F.A. 
Additionally, speech therapy can be beneficial for those experiencing speech and swallowing difficulties. It's a tool that helps individuals communicate more effectively and enjoy their meals without fear of choking. Medications also play a role in managing FA. Certain drugs can help alleviate symptoms like heart problems, diabetes, and muscle stiffness. These medications are not cures, but they can make living with FA more manageable. In some cases, surgical interventions might be considered. For example, a procedure called spinal fusion can help those with severe curvature of the spine, a common complication of FA. On the forefront of FA treatment is gene therapy. While still in the experimental stages, this promising avenue of research aims to correct the genetic mutation that causes FA. It's a beacon of hope in the fight against this condition. But remember, treating FA isn't just about medical interventions. It's also about living a healthy lifestyle. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and plenty of rest can go a long way in managing symptoms and maintaining overall health. It's important to note that each individual's journey with FA is distinct. What works for one person may not work for the next. That's why it's crucial to work with a team of healthcare professionals who can guide and support you through your unique journey. Every person's journey with FA is unique, but no one has to walk that path alone. Your strength and resilience in the face of FA are truly inspiring. And remember, every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory in the fight against F.A. Living with F.A. isn't just about symptoms and treatments. It's a part of who a person is, shaping their life in ways others might not understand. Imagine waking up each day, knowing that your body might not cooperate in the way you'd like it to. The simple tasks that many take for granted, like walking, writing, or even speaking, become challenges to overcome. But with every challenge comes an opportunity for victory. And that's the reality of living with Friedreich's ataxia, or FA, for you. You see, FA is a rare inherited disease that affects the nervous system, causing difficulty with movement and coordination. It's like trying to conduct a symphony, but the musicians can't quite play in harmony. Now that doesn't sound like a walk in the park, does it? Yet, those living with FA face this symphony every day, conducting their bodies with grace and determination. But it's not all about the struggles. Living with F.A. also means celebrating the small victories. Maybe it's managing to tie a shoelace unaided or successfully cooking a meal. Perhaps it's being able to take a few steps without stumbling or even uttering a sentence without slurring. These might seem insignificant to some, but for someone with F.A., they are monumental achievements. Moreover, F.A. isn't a one-size-fits-all condition. It affects people differently, just as it weaves into the fabric of their lives in different ways. Some might need a walking aid, others might use a wheelchair. Some might have difficulty speaking, others might struggle with hearing. But despite these differences, one thing remains the same, the spirit of resilience. People with FA are not just surviving, they're thriving, they're pushing boundaries, breaking stereotypes, and showing the world that their condition doesn't define them. They are students, professionals, artists, athletes, and so much more. They are individuals with dreams, aspirations, and a zest for life that's as strong as anyone else's. Might be a part of their story, but it doesn't define them. They are defined by their courage, their strength, and their unyielding determination to live life to the fullest, regardless of the challenges that come their way. F.A. might seem like a formidable opponent, but every day we're making strides towards understanding it better. The world of medical science is vast, full of brilliant minds who dedicate their lives to unraveling the mysteries of conditions like Friedreich's ataxia. And it's in this world that hope for a better tomorrow blooms. There's a tremendous amount of ongoing research in the quest to understand F.A. better. Scientists are working tirelessly to explore the genetic roots of this condition, to understand its intricacies, and to unlock the secrets that it holds. They're diving deep into the human genome, hunting for clues and piecing together the puzzle that is F.A. And it's not just about understanding F.A., it's about finding better ways to manage it, to treat it, and ultimately, to cure it. Clinical trials are underway, testing new drugs and therapies that could potentially slow, halt, or even reverse the progression of F.A. The results are promising, and every discovery brings us one step closer to a breakthrough. It's a journey, a long and challenging one, but a journey that we're committed to, we're pushing the boundaries of what we know, venturing into the unknown, propelled by a single unyielding purpose, to give those living with F.A. a better tomorrow. And while we're still in the thick of this journey, there's something important to remember. Hope is not just found in the promise of tomorrow. 
It's also found in the here and now. It's in the strength and resilience of those living with F.A., in their courage and determination, in their unwillingness to let F.A. define them. So, yes, F.A. is a formidable opponent, but it's one we're learning to understand, one we're learning to fight. And it's in this fight, this pursuit of knowledge and understanding, that we find hope. Hope for better treatments, hope for a cure, and most importantly, hope for a brighter, healthier tomorrow for all those living with F.A. F.A. is a challenge, but it's a challenge we're ready to take on. We've journeyed through the world of F.A. together, understanding its origins, recognizing its signs, and exploring the ways to fight it. We've delved into the complexities of Friedreich's ataxia, or as we've come to know it, F.A. We've understood that it's a rare inherited disease, one that comes with no known cure. Yet, we've also seen the resilience of those who live with it, and the myriad ways they manage their symptoms. We've examined the Punnett Square, understanding the genetic lottery that brings F.A. into someone's life. We've learned about the symptoms that signal its presence, and the treatments that, while not curing, help manage this condition. We've seen the reality of living with F.A., and the hope that tomorrow brings. Remember, each one of us possesses a strength that sometimes we ourselves underestimate. F.A. may be rare, but awareness shouldn't be. Together, we can make a difference. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for more details that we couldn't cover in this video. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and remember, you're stronger than you think. Before we wrap up, we want to connect with you, our incredible audience. We hope this journey into the world of Friedreich's ataxia has broadened your understanding and maybe even sparked some questions or ideas. If it has, we'd love to hear from you. Please drop a like if you found this video informative and share it with your friends and family to spread the knowledge. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest videos. Now here's where you come in. Do you have a topic in mind that you'd like us to explore next? A question about F.A. or another medical mystery? Leave a comment below and we'll try our best to create a video based on your suggestions. We also have other videos on medical mysteries and the human body, which you can find in the corner of the screen or in the description below. Your engagement not only helps us create better content, but it also contributes to a more informed and curious society. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and remember you're stronger than you think.